Hi, Chris Worski here, product manager of the Bobcats and Trailblazers here at Miller Electric. Today we're going to talk about some of the differences in the new Trailblazer 325 versus the old Trailblazer 302. We're going to talk about extended run times, we're going to talk about better fuel efficiency, we're talk about substantial sound savings, and also how we got smaller and lighter. Let's get to work. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the engine, we're going to listen to it go high RPM, then come back down to idle, then I'm going to apply some uh, generator loads. Let's get to work. I'm going to pull the choke. This is a carbureted engine. Push the choke in. Engine goes to high RPM. Doesn't sense any load. Comes back down to idle, which is 2400 RPM. Let's try a floodlight. This is a 250 watt light bulb. Let's see how the engine reacts to it. I'll plug it into the receptacle here. Engine goes to 3600 RPM. Disconnect the load or the, uh, the floodlight, engine should come back down to idle. One typical tool that everybody uses for doing metal work is a grinder. Let's see how the Trailblazer 302 reacts to a grinder load. So I plug it in, machine stays at idle until I hit the trigger. Goes up to high RPM until I release the trigger. Machine sees that load drop ready to go back to idle. Super exciting new machine. I'd like to walk you through the starting sequence of the Trailblazer 325 and also some of the generator benefits that it provides. Let's go ahead and start it. So the engine here is a, it's a Kohler 25 horsepower electronic fuel injected engine. You hear how quiet that is? What happens is when you start the engine, the engine goes to 3200 RPM, unlike traditional welder generators or our Trailblazer 302 which goes to 3600 RPM. So the generator on this machine we have uh, two standard receptacles and they're right down here. We have uh, 220 volt receptacles. We have one that's a traditional receptacle and uh, what we do is we go to high RPM as we apply a load and it comes back down after we uh, cut that load off. The other receptacle that we have is uh, something we call XL power. What XL power is, is it's power at all engine speeds. It's 120 volts, 20 amps, 2400 watts. Let's see how it works. So right here, again, I have a, a standard floodlight. It's a 250 watt light. Let's see what it does with the uh, XL power and plug it in the floodlight. Check it out. That 250 watt light bulb plugged into the XL power, engine stays at idle. I got more power to boot. Let's take a look at the grinder. I have a, a standard metal worker grinder. I'm gonna plug it in the XL power. Let's see what it does. Engine stays at idle, which is 2400 RPM. I'm gonna start up the grinder. You'll hear what the engine does. Right, grinder's louder than the engine. Engine didn't do anything. It's at idle. Another key benefit of this uh, XL power. Low fuel consumption, extended run times, extremely quiet, great for you and the crew around you.